In Herat, there are 18 seats where we won by less than, uh, either party won by less than a thousand votes. Barisan National has 11 seats where they won by less than a thousand votes. With three areas, they won by less than a hundred votes. Uh, Pengkalang uh, Baru, only 14 undi, 14 votes. Uh, there's uh, Raja Ahmad seat is Kubu uh, Gajah. Uh, Kubu Gajah. Only by 66 votes and Alo Pongsu by 95 votes. So 50 votes all over the difference. So if they can create doubt in 200 people, they may be able to save their seat. Uh, but uh, I, we can see a shift of Malay votes towards Pakata Rakyat uh, as uh, we've seen in the uh, gathering. Uh, just uh, yeah, so many gatherings. Uh, and uh, the latest was a gathering 40,000 in Sri Iskandar. So we try to create, uh, and uh, we have also seven seats where we won by less than a thousand. So to me, this is the strategy, and it's very cheap to pay seventy thousand. I think I uh, hope uh, people will be in prison, and uh, to avoid this further, uh, further uh, publishing of false news and uh, criminal defamation against us. In fact, I've been very patient with New Straits Times with Sylvia Louis Li Peng. Uh, I indicated to his colleague uh, to apologize and write an article to clarify his false reporting uh, recently. Uh, I don't like to uh, take action. Uh, we are in politics. Uh, we are for the country. Not, not, not nothing personal. No bad personal and data. Uh, if uh, nothing is forthcoming by today, tomorrow morning, I'm also going to lodge a report similar on false news and uh, we call reporting false news and criminal defamation against uh, me in this article. Uh, there are other articles, but I thought uh, we have been patient and. Uh, more importantly, today my message is to the rakyat. Don't be ever come by false news and false reporting by Barisan National, uh, pro Barisan National media. Okay, if we have, uh, if we are corrupt, uh, a long time ago, uh, the Barisan National have charges. They would uh, have won if there is any iota of evidence we are corrupt. Uh, they have the battle will be won. Uh, Pergi mana banyak tempat ceramah ceramah. I think they exactly get proof to us. But I would like to also to warn the public that there may be false charges that will be uh, 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 proffered against me because the minister in the prime minister department, uh, Datuk Sri uh, Nasri, has informed me that uh, he has instructed the AG chamber to charge me uh, for my tweet. Uh, and uh, we must never allow mock justice to occur in the country. That will be the l last bastion. If ever that happened, the nation will collapse. Abno has orchestrated 300 over police reports against me for my tweet. Even if you don't agree with what I tweeted, that is my opinion. It doesn't commit. Uh, remember the tweet about the video that deleted Islam? And uh, I'm very disappointed with uh, Kairi Jamaluddin, who in his AMNO youth speech says, Saya Cecia Islam. Nobody in the right mind totally. uh, reading my tweet can come to that conclusion. Uh, we never believe the Islam, we uphold the uh, Islam as the, uh, uh, the religion of the Federation, as subtract in the uh, Constitution, and other races are free to practice their faith uh, in a peaceful manner and freely. So that's why I'm disappointed and uh, that uh, such a brilliant man uh, from Amno is uh, so-called, I use the word low standard, uh, they are not too happy. Uh, I thought they, I would expect a higher standard. So, and uh, ASP, Shan from Ipo has called me twice to call uh, me to give my statement. For two occasions, I've asked him under what section I'm being investigated. investigated under and he can show me none. He says he has just instruction from the uh, public prosecutor from Putrajaya to interview me. And to me, as a member of parliament, not that I won't, won't cooperate, I won't go to police station anytime. But I have to defend the rights of the citizen as guaranteed by the constitution. Yes. That we are free to move anywhere. And nobody can restrain us or call us for any statement and cause my freedom to be curtailed unless there's reasonable suspicion that I committed a crime. So he has not shown me any a section that I have purportedly committed a crime, there's no reason for me to go. In fact, I'm uh, holding, I make sure the police, the public prosecutor, respect the federal constitution. Because I'm an MP, I've sworn by oath 
to protect the constitution. If I don't uphold the constitution, I fail in my duty. So I call on, uh, uh, I mean, to me, I'm no loose face. Having lodged 300 old reports, and uh, it was suggested by Nasri to charge me under sedition just because uh, 300 old people have lost a report and it was orchestrated by Amno. I'm uh, so much welcome in Malay crowd. Everywhere I go, they know that it's uh, Amno trying to create a false news, trying to create hatred. But uh, I thank God that the uh, Malays today are well informed. They know the trickery of uh, Pakistan National and that's why they are rejecting it because they are not following Islam at all. They are so evil. And even want to have mock justice just because 300 over reports have been lodged and therefore I must be guilty. Uh, so uh, I would like the public to be warned, even if I'm charged for my tweet, uh, it is all planned. It is so many months now. If they, I have any evidence, I've gone and, uh, I mean, whoever can read my tweet, I've not uh, committed any wrong in law. Thank you very much. I hope that my message is to the public don't be caught. Thank you. Jawatan sebagai pengarah dan syarikat itu sebenarnya tak betul juga. Uh, itu uh, itu surat tu ah. Dalam okay. SSM. Let me say because we are lawyers. Di bawah undang-undang uh, ada uh, there is a, a, a need for confidentiality for whatever my firm does uh, for my client. So for that I cannot divulge. But if I divulge, means I'm committing an offence. Even in law, we are protected under law not to divulge. Even in court case, as yeah, I think for client. Uh, yeah. So even in the letter that is stated there. It's very clearly stated uh, this is a total lie. If even in the assuming the letter I'm not confirming otherwise, this is a true letter. Even uh, uh, even in this letter uh, itself that is uh, being put put there, we, it can clearly show that it is a lie because uh, it's stated. Uh, let me read it. Uh, uh, satu jualan saham. Uh, syarikat pada 5 April 2012 Kalau surat itu pun betul Itu satu jual beli uh, Yang sudah perjanjian 5 hari bulan April 2012 Tahun ini ada satu perjanjian jual beli Mana ini ada apa-apa ber- bukti yang uh, Yang amat berubah Menteri yeah. Besar uh, uh, Berikan uh, pemberian tanah ini So even if assuming that letter I'm not confirming otherwise Even in the letter evidence itself Ada jual beli tanah. Uh, dalam ada Malaysia tanah. ini, siapa-siapa ada duit beli-beli tanah lah. Tak ada salah lah. So, I think uh, that's a reason why I think uh, we cannot allow uh, falsehood and lies to permeate our country. If the country lives under falsehood, then the nation will be misled. And the nation will die. Thank you. So, I'm going to launch a police report. Okay.